Good morning. Welcome to day 49, May 25th, 2024, the beginning of Memorial Day weekend. Awesome. Last year, Memorial Day weekend, I was in the middle of a Deeratissima in New Hampshire, which was a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, it's almost seven o'clock. I went down just to grab some coffee, got some uh, cereal, but I'm gonna um, get a little organized here, get things set up for my errands. Got a nice big open space to work with, which is nice. It's more like a suite, which uh, yeah, it's awesome. Plenty of room to get organized. Um, and then get showered, go down and get some real breakfast and then uh, get out and do our walking before it gets too hot. So that is the plan. Slept uh, normal last night, which is good. I find, you know, my ribs are still, I mean, I know it takes a long time for ribs to heal. And quite honestly, they haven't been that bad. They're always the worst first thing in the morning where they're just super tender still. And I think sleeping on a bed, um, I'm more inclined to twist and turn on my sides because um, I have more room and that aggravates the ribs a bit because I'm, no matter if I'm laying on them or the opposite side, it still is twisting them around. So uh, I was a little extra sore this morning, but um, as the day goes on, that'll go away. So man, what's it been? I mean, I feel like it's been three weeks, four weeks since I took that spill, uh, heading up to Baden Pal. And um, yeah, I mean, the ribs are gonna take, they always say ribs take a while to heal. So they're definitely not bad. They're just really tender in the morning still. Um, yeah, I got another new pack that hopefully won't fail on me. Oh, actually I wanted to show real quick what the issue was that um, was so aggravating. Hold on a second. All right, so here's the backpack, practically brand new, used it for a week, not even a week. This is the brain, this is the top. Um, so there are two straps that connect the brain to the back of the pack to help you secure it. And then you pull down on this buckle. Well, on this side, where that strap is, this buckle that's attached, you see the three prongs, it just attaches to the back of the pack in the fabric. And you can see those three holes right there. Well, the buckle just, just popped out first night. Not even the first night, it was like the first three, four hours. And just because of the way it's designed, I mean, I put the prongs back in and that was not holding. Just, uh, it's a weird design, I think. But I was able to rig something where I could secure it, but obviously it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be, so that's no good for $440. That should not be happening. So that's going back to REI. Um, and of course I couldn't buy a new one at REI because there's their big sale going on right now and they didn't have any. So I had to go through Amazon. Luckily Amazon had them. So I have my new same pack. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this one. If we do, then I got a real problem. I got to find a new pack because that's a very annoying gear failure. But I mean, yeah, this through hike, and I knew it would be, there's going to be lots of gear failures. Um, just being able to adapt and adjust is the main thing. So that's where we are. Um, we'll check in in a bit. All right, it's around 7.30. Let's go get some breakfast. It's weird getting out of bed, some muscles in my legs that getting out of the tent would never be sore or stiff or sore and stiff this morning. <laughs> it's like your body knows you're, uh, you're not hiking 15 to 20 miles today. All right, so we had a very nice front desk person loan us some packing tape so I can pack this thing up. Amazing. The long road walk with the big box 
is almost over. <laughs> All right, a very friendly, helpful post office. I've had nothing but good luck with every post office so far. It's been amazing. Didn't have to buy my own tape for um, sending some stuff back to New Hampshire, like a pair of darn tufts that are on their last legs with holes. So just because you can get a, a brand new pair, there's no reason not to send them back. And since this is only gonna be like four to five nights, I um, had a little too much food and I don't wanna have a lot of food because I'm gonna get, be getting a bunch of food at Kennedy Meadow South for 12 to 13 nights. So sending a little bit of food back, you know, the expensive stuff, the jerky, the freeze dried meals. Um, this new pack has a, a built-in rain cover I've never been a fan of the rain cover. I prefer to have things in stuff sacks and I've been in some torrential rain and my gear stays dry. So that's what I like to do. So I sent the rain cover back in case maybe someday I want to mess around with it. All right, now we're heading back the way we came, not carrying anything, which is super good. We're going to hit the grocery store. Um, and I think that's all we need to do. Then we'll go back and FaceTime Sarah and relax. Stay tuned. All right. We're gonna try a new grocery store chain today. I've seen it in other towns. The only reason I haven't gone to one is because I've got my phone number linked in to the Vons Albertsons for the, the deals. And I don't know if this one does that. But this is on the way back to the hotel. So instead of going out of my way to the Albertsons, we're going to try, I think it's Statler Brothers or Statler Brothers. Anyway, we'll see what they're all about. Maybe they have some tasty um, to-go subs. I noticed this the Albertsons I was at yesterday. It's a little smaller than some of the other ones and they didn't seem like they had the same kind of um, prepared foods to go. So maybe this, uh, this is a good thing anyway. Time will tell. There's also a Big Five sporting goods store here where I would normally get propane. I think it's either here or the Walmart, but I'm only gonna have four, five nights before I'm at Kennedy Meadows South. And I'm sure there's plenty of propane there. So I have a full canister and some. So I don't think we need to bother with propane. Famous last words. I haven't seen anything on Far Out saying they're out of it and they must. There's like three different places there. They should all have it. So I'll support those guys. Um, I'm probably gonna buy an ice axe there too. So, yeah. All right, let's see what this grocery store is all about. It's nice to be walking and shopping without a heavy backpack on your back, that's for sure. All right, we just left Stater Brothers. We got lots of groceries. They had some tasty looking sandwiches, got a salad. Um, they remind me a lot of a chain we have in New England called Market Basket, where they have like a lot of employees hanging around. Um, there's a bagger, there's some guy who like wiped off the pin pad with disinfectant as soon as the person in front of me went. They only had um, a 15 item or less line open and a full, um, you know, however many items you have and no self checkout and they seem to be moving pretty well as far as getting people through. So yeah, but the selection was pretty good. The one thing they didn't have that I was going to get were the dots, but that's okay. I just got another bag of Cheez-Its instead. And I'm sure there'll be lots of different kinds of snacks at Kennedy Meadows South. Um, so it'll be fine there. So now we're going to walk back to the hotel. Probably only a 15 minute walk from here, give or take. And then hopefully uh, 
we can FaceTime with Sarah, then have some lunch, probably do like the salad and um, a sandwich. I was almost tempted. They had like fresh pico de gallo and um, the homemade tortilla chips, but I had a bunch of those yesterday and um, I know they're just gonna fill me up. So I wanted to have something different today. And for dinner, once again, I think it's gonna be probably Domino's. So looking forward to that and bring some uh, leftover pizza out on the trail, depending on what their minimum delivery charge is here. I guess I could always do Chipotle as well again. Uh, we'll see, see how I feel when it gets closer to dinner time. I really wanted to get ice cream, but it's just not gonna keep, there's no freezer. So what are you gonna do? I'll get ice cream at Kennedy Meadows. If, if there's a will, there's a way. Also thought about getting a beer, but I um, think I'll get a beer when we get to Kennedy Meadows as well. So that's the update. We're gonna make our way back to the hotel. All right, it's about two in the afternoon. I got the AC cranked up. So it's funny, it feels colder during the day and at night it doesn't feel as cold. So I'm gonna do some organizing. Um, was able to FaceTime with Sarah for a while, which was great. I got these um, amazing white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. They're coming out on the trail with us. Got Cheez-Its, got some Twix, really splurged. Um, some more Gatorade, a couple sandwiches, Plus we have pizza coming, so things are looking up. I was also able to secure a ride for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, one of the people recommended on Far Out is gonna give a ride, he charges 45 bucks, which, uh, you know, it's a little more on the pricey side, but it's over 20 miles away. and They gotta go and come back, so it's reasonable. Um, and how else am I going to get back to the trailhead? So you could stand around and try and hitch all day, but I mean, I'd rather be back on the trail and get some miles in and get a good spot to camp for tomorrow night on our way to Kennedy Meadows South. So I'm going to get organized here. I'm probably going to make a cup of coffee and, uh, we'll check in later. All right. So we're going to wrap it up for the day. It's about six o'clock been trying to eat every couple of hours. Um, pretty successful at that. And Domino's is on the way. So it's gonna be a great Friday night. Really looking forward to get back on the trail tomorrow. Got my ride coming at 10, so I can hang out for a little bit in the morning and then uh, put in some miles, make our way to Kennedy Meadows South. So excited, really stoked to go check that scene out. So. See you in the morning. Oh boy. <laughs>